Two twin brothers, two opposite lives. In a world where loyalties are tested, alliances crumble and moral ambiguities plague every decision, an elite HID agent discards his identity, becoming his twin brother, the boss of a major syndicate in Seoul. Gear up and step into the boots of Agent Bike and explore the twists in his gripping tale of blood and vengeance. Welcome to another first impression. This week we have another webtoon, this one is called Mr. Bike, and here you can see the picture of it. And if you can't hear it already in my voice, I am very excited to talk about this one. Mr. Bark is another entry in the PTJ universe, a place with countless incredible stories. To name some of them, Lookism, Viral Hits and Questism. I love these three series, but everything else in PTJ is also great. So that also means that expectations for this new one are quite high. Potential cameos or connections to other stories are always fun to see, especially in series where characters can appear everywhere. I instantly thought about a specific character from the webtoon viral hit when I read the title of this newcomer and it would fit in perfectly as well. I can however not go into too much detail without spoiling viral hit. So let's leave that point for now, as there is still more than enough to talk about focused only on Mr. Bai. While other PTJ stories start out with high school plots, it seems like this one will be instantly in the world of the adults, in the thick of it all. And that means this will be a serious work with dark elements. If you don't want to see things like blackmail, torture and potentially also murder, this one might be a bit too much for you. But what do you expect when the summary already talks about major syndicates and agents investigating for vengeance? The art style of Mr. Bike is already high quality just looking at this header. And the fight scenes will also be something to look forward to if they are anything similar to lookism or viral hits. However, that's enough talk. Like always, I put a link to the series in the description for you to check it out to yourself first. Here is your slight spoiler warning as we proceed to talk about the first six chapters of Mr. Bike. I really enjoyed the start of Mr. Bike. It offered a variety of scenes to get you engaged and it worked quite well. It was truly a brutal start and this webtoon will probably not pull any punches. Personally, it caught me completely unaware and unprepared, off guard, all of these different things with some of the stuff that happened and that in the best way imaginable. Just chapter one alone got me hooked hard. The brother dynamic is interesting and also feels realistic. In a way, I could see myself in the positions of either of the brothers. You guys take that information however you want. With what we read in the summary, however, we can already see how their situation will turn out. As always, the fight scenes are well done, carrying a lot of weight and showing the importance and power in every attack. All of that combined gives us an interesting badass main character. And I have to correct myself, I think I misunderstood the summary. Both brothers are badasses, not just one. The interactions between the two brothers are fun and give a nice contrast to the rest of the story. The fact that neither one knew what the real job of the other brother was made me actually chuckle. Just imagine this, both sides being part of or even leading a powerful organization and they just think that their brother works in a very normal position. Mr. Barak will for sure have a lot of high level schemes and trickery as well, so if you want to think a bit on top of seeing strong fights, this webtoon has everything you want. However, I'm kind of concerned if this will escalate into only big battles, or how much brain power will have to be used to follow this story. Personally, I have to hope that my brain keeps on getting activated with whatever the characters are doing. It doesn't even have to be either of the brothers. Other people should also be smart and have some sort of schemes going on as well. Three chapters in and I have to say I like following both of the brothers. They are both strong, smart and just interesting characters in general like their personalities and other things. Plus, what we have seen of side characters was also quite good so far. Only problem right now is that I am already experiencing some very bad premonitions. Not in a way that the story is going in a bad direction. In fact, it's developing really well, but I am predicting some incredibly dark moments. Holy, it might be the lack of really intelligent characters lately, and with that I mean real intelligence, not just some smart appearances and a few good decisions. I can't help but gush over how nice these two brothers actually are to see, especially in comparison to some other main characters I have talked about in previous first impressions. 
there have been multiple cold and epic situations, which just make you fall in love with the characters. I basically already know what to expect, and that is the unexpected. Every new character that appears is suspicious, but some really take the cake. I really am interested in seeing how this all is going to turn out, how this entire story will turn out. I can't imagine the entire thing just being the currently ongoing arc. There will probably be a lot more coming for us in the future. One minor inconvenience for me is that every chapter after chapter 7 is only available in the webtoon app for phones. I just prefer reading on my desktop, but I guess for the sake of a good story I can overlook this problem. Especially because of all of the mind games on top of mind games on top of mind games on top of mind games and let's stop there. Holy hell, I don't know how to handle any more of this. How can a story catch my attention so hard? Again and again I notice that I like stories set in the real world. I don't necessarily need fancy superpowers. Even realistic strength can be portrayed in epic fashions and entertaining ways. Not every story makes me feel so many emotions, so many raw emotions in just 6 chapters. Sometimes I have a hard time connecting with the characters in a story, but Mr. Bark achieved that feat quite easily. What sets it apart from other webtoons or manga that didn't manage to do that for me, well, it's actually hard to say. It could just be a slightly different vibe or the whole premise falling more into my area of expertise and interest, but in the end even I myself am not entirely certain. We will probably not only face the government, but also multiple gangster organizations. In the big picture, I wonder how or even if the story is in any way connected to the other PTJ stories, or if it will be completely standalone. If I am completely honest, after reading the first 6 chapters, I am not even sure if it's actually part of the PTJ universe anymore. If anyone is in possession of that knowledge, please let me know in the comments. However, big things are starting to happen in the world of the Bike Brothers. Not only are the gangsters preparing some things, but the government is also starting to move. And they are a real threat. Maybe even the final opponent of the entire story. Seeing how it is a story about adults doing very serious things, many of the other PTJ stories wouldn't fit in, but maybe some of the adults and older characters can make cool cameos. While our protagonists are smart, I am not sure if I can agree with every single plan that they have done so far, especially the last plan that got revealed in the later part of chapter 6. Things could go terribly wrong, unless I am still heavily underestimating what the legendary Mr. Bike is really capable of. To summarize my thoughts, this webtoon was really impressive. Showing us likable characters, intriguing plots and good fights, that is all sure to make a good story. And Mr. Bike did all of that, maybe even more. I may have not talked about the character designs a lot, which might have made you think that they wouldn't be good, but they are not bad either, just look at the picture next to me. Well, it still heavily leans into the beautiful character section, but I won't complain about getting more eye candy. Being able to freely read only one chapter a day is a bit annoying, I talked about that already. But it also helps you to pace yourself and it gives you more time to think and form theories about the future of the story. If you haven't yet given Mr. Bike a chance, be sure to do so. Especially if you like revenge stories that also have different great subplots. But that's all from me for today. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this webtoon. And if there is a story that you want to hear my first impression or opinion of, let me know that as well. All that's left to be said is stay happy, stay healthy and most importantly stay cultured. Pyro out. Bye!